Tiny Lund, what's it going to win this race here at Martinsville Sunday? Well, uh, you know, at Martinsville, it takes a, uh, a lot of luck, a good pit crew, and a good driver, and uh, all kinds of brakes, because uh, there's a lot of heavy traffic on this little half mile, and uh, you have to use the uh, brakes as well as the gear, as well as the engine, and the whole car gets to work out here. So when you last for 500 laps, let alone win, it's something accomplished in itself. So uh, uh, whoever wins the old Martinsville 500 uh, usually has all kind of brakes and has a good car. How about the wear and tear on the driver himself? A lot of drivers have told me that this is probably as tough a track as there is. Well, uh, that's for more reasons than one. If you happen to get a still day where all the gas fumes stay in here, uh, you breathe so much of these gas fumes and that, that always uh, uh, hurts a lot because uh, there's been many a driver have to have oxygen here. I have seen where every car in a race but one uh, had uh, relief. And that was back in 57, I think. The only guy that didn't get relief was uh, the guy that won the race. And Bill Amick, and I think some cars had as high as three drivers. It was a still day, and a gas fume stayed in here, and it just wiped out everybody. And uh, then, of course, these tight turns with the uh, acceleration that we have, the centrifugal force gives back cramps and neck cramps, and uh, this uh, tends to uh, really put a strain on the drivers. Well, without having driven here even yet this year, you have had some back problems, and not from that. Well, we had a little accident, uh, tire testing uh, last week at. Uh, uh, week four last at Charlotte, and uh, I spent last week in the hospital in traction, and uh, so I don't know if, uh, if I survive this uh, track, well, I, I'm better shaped than I think I am. <laughs>